Here, south of Mosul, advancing Iraqi forces made a discovery in an old railway tunnel. Inside, the Islamic State militants had built a camp for foreign recruits. Hidden from the prying eyes of overhead surveillance, the jihadis could train here. So the story behind this, uh, this training base, the volunteers, the new volunteers with the ISIS, they, they became here with the closed eyes because they don't know where are they. Uh -huh. And they start training him here. Even they try uh, training the, the little kids over here. We call them Ashbal. Yeah, cubs. Yeah, cubs. The so called cubs of the yeah. caliphate. Yeah, so cubs of Khalifate, yeah. The subterranean training camp features a shooting range and an obstacle course. Recruits apparently don weighted packs for training. The obstacle course includes many climbing obstacles, ropes, a possible rappel line, and a balance beam, as well as a low crawl under concertina wire, and even a zip line. It was wired for electricity and had showers, a clinic, a mosque, a kitchen, laundry facilities, and sleeping quarters with air conditioning. That was said, many. This is the showers over here. When it was opened by Iraqi forces after an airstrike closed it, there were many dead bodies still inside and a cache of weapons. All the kinds of weapons, AK, M4s, HS, pistols, rocket, shells, like uh, RDGs, a lot of weapons. The troops also found gear and plenty of Islamic State propaganda. Oh, uh, they're saying that this is what will happen to you when you go, when you try to immigrate. Chad Garland, reporting for Stars and Stripes in Mosul.